Hello guys and gals, me Mudahara, and based on the title of this, you probably know what you're getting into. New alien bodies potentially have just been discovered. Now, if you're looking at this image over here, you might be like, whoa, Muda, what is this? You've got alien heads, you've got an alien torso, and you've got alien legs. Might be an octopus hybrid, might be fake. I'm probably leaning towards the fake side. Now, to understand, this comes at us from the Reddit board r slash alien bodies, which for the last two days has blown up my feed with constant aliens. And I figured I, it's already in my mind. I might as well get it out with. OK, this drew my interest. So today we're going to apply an objective look and see, did Reddit find actual proof of an alien corpse? The world, you know, let's let's see. Let, let's 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 keep an open, healthy mind. Now, r slash alien bodies is for serious discussions related to the Nazca mummies or other potential alien bodies. We advocate for open-minded inquiry coupled with healthy skepticism. So this was created on September 19, 2023. And if that date sounds peculiarly familiar to you, then you remember around that time, I made a video where I looked at the Mexican Congress showcasing alien bodies inside, you know, the Mexican Congress. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, to give you a quick idea, what you saw were these kind of bodies. And if they look similarly close to E.T., believe it or not, about a month or two after that, around November, there was actually further analysis inside the alien dolls again, too. It was actually reintroduced entirely to Congress again. So yeah, at some point in November uh, 7, 2023, the Mexican Congress held a second UFO session regarding Peruvian mummies, okay, where they actually looked into, again, they treated it very seriously, the potentiality for these alien bodies to be discovered. And the key person bringing this to the Mexican Congress was a Mexican journalist and UFO enthusiast known as Jaime Mausan, okay, where he presented two specimens of a first-of-its-kind congressional event on UFOs or fannies in, in Spanish, okay? That's, that's, the, that's, that's, that's the conversion, okay, for the ufologists watching. So according to Reuters, Masson was focused on provide, proving the bodies, which were not on display this time, were not fake, ushering in a string of doctors who all said the bodies were those of real, once-living organisms. And of course, he left room for questions about their origins. So one of the people here, Flavio Estrada, a forensic archaeologist in the Institute of Legal Medicine of Peru, basically had said they are not extraterrestrials, they are not intraterrestrials, they are not even a new species, they are not hybrids, they are none of those things that this group of pseudoscientists who for six years have been presenting with these elements it said. Now look, I'm not trying to get into some beef between ufologists and forensic experts, I'll leave that for you to decide. So, of course, Estrada said later on, the humanoid three-fingered dolls consisted of earthbound animals and human bones assembled with modern synthetic glue. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, what had happened over here was the, uh, was the, was the actual evidence brought forward by Jaime Massan was brought, you know, again, into question. And of course, even on his Wikipedia article with a source, by the way, that you can read, the same source that I just brought up to you, he has promoted claims of supposed alien remains that have turned out to be hoaxes. So again, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the alien side of the internet, obviously, uh, there is a lot of question, there, there's a lot of questioning in regards to people's motives, in regards to their evidence, in regards to their technique. And this is where, again, look, I like to believe that alien life exists. Obviously, the world is massive. And as human beings, as living life forms, you will never be able to see even 0.1% of the world in anybody's lifetime. I firmly believe that there is intelligent life out there. We can't be the only thing resembling conscious, intelligent life in the universe. That said, I don't believe that gray aliens exist all of a sudden or that maybe we've even been visited yet, okay? I don't think that the gray aliens from the end of Deus Ex 1 necessarily exist. But hey, listen, if you've got proof, then please present it. And this time, do a lot better than like 144p video or the most insanely unrecognizable audio that we can ever imagine. That said, let's get into why we're talking about this today. This isn't about alien bodies presented to Mexican Congress. Going back to the subreddit, one post that ended up basically floating around was this body that I showed you at the beginning here. Now, this subreddit is popping off, okay? To give you an idea, 51,000 members, 10,000 of them are online. One in five people on the subreddit are actively perusing this meme. Now, while this actual post got deleted a day ago, it garnered thousands of upvotes. It actually was one of Reddit's top posts 
for the day. Sorry, it's been deleted by the person who originally posted it. And again, even their account seems to actually be deleted. So while some people will say, yeah, it's a stupid reasoning, it's probably a hoax, uh, I'd give my virginity back to know what's going on right now. You don't have to worry about that. I I'll help you figure it out. I've got the facts and the sources. So doing some basic investigation, one person posted an actual video of this post. So here you can see this was an update on this thing, the same post that actually ended up getting deleted. This post said, hey everyone, small update on this thing and some context in the situation. I received a message from a friend with the original picture attached yesterday afternoon saying her mom's friend found this thing in her garden. That's not a deliberate misspelling of mom. It's mom as in the United Kingdom. See, this wasn't an American alien investigation. This is coming from Britain, okay? And over there, shit's wilder than you can imagine. They don't have nearly the same UFO culture that we do in North America. But again, I then sent an image to a different friend to see if it was some kind of mushroom or fungus, as she is in specific mushroom subreddits. We'll get to more of that in a little bit. So yeah, while that post was actually removed for a while, the other place where the origin of this actual post existed was something on r slash mushroom ID. Now, for anybody new to the internet, there is a subreddit for nearly everything, okay? Like rule 34, there exists other rules where if you don't know, uh, there, there is a subreddit literally for mushroom identification, r slash mushroom ID. A place to get genus spe species identification from pictures of fruiting bodies. It helps to include good quality pictures of the mushroom in its native environment, the location you found them, photos of both the top and underside. It is also useful to know what the mushroom was growing on, wood, shit, or on the ground. And yeah, no joke, this is actually just mushrooms that people post and they're like, can you please help us identify them. Can we eat the mushroom? You probably shouldn't eat any mushroom you find in the wild. Uh, again, that's just basic information. The chance of dying can be extraordinarily high. But again, 15 hours ago, you can see that an account posted the garden alien photos and some of the OG post. And of course, if you look at it real carefully, you can see that there's more photographs. Uh-oh, oh no, it's been removed. Oh shit, we just caught it in real time. The thread has been locked. The post has been removed. Oh no. You know how annoying it is when Redditors, when, when Reddit mods try to hide the truth from us? I mean, Jesus Christ. Now, while you just caught some censorship going on in real time, we're gonna look at some actual analysis from other images. So the actual post that was originally posted that got everyone's attention was this image right here. Now, if you're looking at it real carefully, you'll notice that uh, from, the, from the angle uh, on the left side of the body, you can see that it's got eyeballs, eye sockets, I should say, a nose, and of course it's got a mouth, all right? Upper lip kind of juds a little bit out there. It's also got hands where it's pointing up in the air, and of course it's got multiple feetsies. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking a little too good. Now, obviously, I initially saw this and I thought maybe it's just paper mache, maybe it's just a really like interesting uh, a mushroom or plant somebody found, okay? There's millions of species of plants and mushrooms that exist. Chances are something's gonna look kinda like this. It looks like the old lady, the really old lady from SpongeBob, okay? So again, somebody actually analyzed this and their analysis was pretty similar to what I had, okay? So at first glance, this was actually posted from the OP basically posting it to the mushroom ID subreddit we saw earlier. She has not posted or commented on any relative ET subs. It is an eight year account with consistent sparse, but consistent activity. So yeah, I looked up some of these accounts and they did actually have real activity on the internet. For instance, the account that posted it would literally talk on like tattoo subreddits and even the mushroom subreddit itself. So yeah, there were actually some like accounts being posted and it didn't see like, here's the thing. If you got like an eight year old account that adds more credence just because you know, who's gonna have an eight year old account? Who's gonna play the long game that hard and make like a 10 year account with activity just so they can blow their load on like an alien hoax, right? That's one of the things you have questioning. You always look at account history. If an account was made one week ago, probably a hoax. But if it's got 10 years of post history, maybe it's more genuine than you expect. So she has responded seemingly honestly and very believably to several of the questions asked. So as for the prank, I don't believe so because the original post would have been to an ET related sub, not mushroom identification. I agree. I do believe that her friend sent her an image of what she wants to believe is some type of mushroom, as there are some guesses in the OG post comments on possible mushroom ID. 
Yeah, some of the mushroomologists, or fungiologists, whatever you call them, actually identified or tried to identify that specific looking shroom. What's truly incredible about this image is how original and unaltered the image looks. I do a lot of work in Photoshop and the perspective focus lines incredibly well. The shadowing is very natural looking, color, contrast, lighting, noise, exposure on the image as a whole seem perfect to my eye. So with their Photoshop history, they thought that this image was, you know, pretty legit. It didn't seem like anything was out of order. Then, of course, you got this image where the, where the actual alien is lying down from the front. And you can see that it's got a full nose, two eyeballs, a mouth, and a big old head. Now, you know, at first glance, this, this probably does kind of look like an alien body. But again, this is somebody who just immediately started getting more suspicious. And even they believed it was fake. For one, the grass growth in the two images indicating the object has been relocated. Not just poked, rolled, but picked up and moved. The object seems to maintain its exact pose and position after being moved, indicating it is a solid object. And then of course, they even reference a story of an 80 year old woman. So yeah, the initial like post or the story started kind of shifting around and apparently the actual original image that we saw was taken by an 80 year old woman and then apparently sent to a friend. If you were to tell me an 80 year old woman started to post this on Reddit herself, I would have a million questions. And of course, even this person says that story seems ludicrous and either lazy and uncreative or a rushed unthought lie. The fact that the original receiver of the message is not inclined to see it with their own eyes is beyond suspect. So two things that almost got me. The lesion on its abdomen appears to be new and very realistic looking. So right here, apparently that lesion is supposed to be real. And two, at the very top left of the arm, there is a gelatinous substance that also appears to be natural and new. So again, this is actual analyzing of a potential alien body. Now, of course, one user says, I've seen a few criticisms around the attitude of a poster and friends, the lack of urgency might be worth mentioning. These people are British and not gonna lie, this is the most British way something like this would be revealed. So to that, I asked my audience in the United Kingdom, is this a very British way to reveal a potential alien body? to post it on the fucking mushroom ID subreddit and ask questions there. So one of the questions somebody asked was, why don't they just take a video of it and then at least pick it up and move it around? Which is a great question. Why just take a photo of it? If I saw that shit in my yard, you bet that I would probably put on some gloves, pick it up and definitely record it. And you know what? I'm glad that they actually took a photo of it with their smartphone because most smartphones these days have some real DSLR grade lenses and quality put into them. So again, the same devices that can take 4K, some devices can take 8K videos and like straight up record. Why wasn't a video taken? Again, one commenter writes, it's a classic conundrum. If they show us everything, it means they're a believer, which means it's a hoax. If they don't, well, actually, I don't know how that makes sense. If they don't show much, it's because they're a normal person who isn't following this stuff and we never get any additional info, rendering the evidence useless. If it was found dead in a garden, insects would be all over that thing trying to eat it. And I would probably believe that so on and so forth. So again, Redditors being Redditors decided to investigate this even further. And of course, one of the people had found out that apparently this could have been produced by a company that makes, you know, dolls and figurines similar to this. So a few Redditors here decided to dig down into forums on the internet that I've never even known exist. Basically the store that was created was called Puffed. And again, they led to a link on a forum known as the RPF.com. One user here posted, there used to be a curiosity shop in New K Cornwall that was just the most spectacularly kooky place ever called Puffed Eds. It sadly closed a few years ago when the owner moved and it was full of real skulls from humans down to rats and had cabinets after cabinets of jars. Worthy of note were a human nose, eyes and ear, bottle of snake wine, real shrunken heads and bound. Point to you, is that even legal to possess and sell? Like, I'm trying to wonder, Jesus Christ, that's insane. I still want to make a gris gris pouch and build a Fiji mermaid at some point and always am on the lookout for cheap, old school glass cabinets to complete the looks. Have a search of cryptozoology sites and can really go to town. You know what I've started to learn, ladies and gentlemen? I've really started, wait, what? There is an awesome shop on Melrose Ave in Hollywood, Los Angeles. Brilliant for this sort of stuff. Just search for necromance. <laughs> oh, you know, boys, I'm gonna be real with you. I've learned that there's a lot of communities out there and communities that genuinely interest me. These are people who are out there creating some really downright spooky shit. 
It just seems like people making like pop surreal taxidermy art. It literally is just people making taxidermy. You're like, what? Welcome to the taxidermy art of Serena Brewer, the birthplace of pop surrealist taxidermy, a genre of pop surrealist art characterized by mixed media sculptures containing conventional taxidermy related materials used in an unconventional manner. So it's really just fictional taxidermy of fictional animals. Like, look at this. It's a clock embedded into a pink, what is that, like a llama golf giraffe, golf giraffe hybrid? I don't even understand. Whatever it is, it's rip, ladies and gentlemen, ripperoni, pepperoni. But again, the account they linked back to was an actual artist over here who had what appears to be the initial showcase of this specimen. So if you're looking at it real carefully, you can see that this is some strong similarities to the actual animal we found fallen on the on 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 the on the in the grass. But the story doesn't end there. When one Redditor even asked this individual about that specific photo, all they responded to was, ha ha ha, these were pickled samples in sealed bottles. Someone took these out of the containers to take photos. They were sold when the shop was sold. I am looking for more pics for you. I will look now. Now, of course, this has become a massive meme on this entire account too, which has taken away some of the serious discussions, okay? For instance, some people, the similarities are mind boggling. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they kind of are, you know, they're both hairless. Uh, the, the, the limbs appear to be as fucked as I can imagine. But of course, the more I go down, new garden alien similar to the Cumbergas pilots. And again, I don't know what these pilots look like, but again, this is my problem with this, okay? You zoom in 120 times into this image. I don't even know if that's the real image. I don't even know what that is anymore. They just look at the fact that there's possibly two eyes, maybe a mouth. That could be an alien. Again, ladies and gentlemen, is there any definitive proof? There is more proof, I'm not joking, of the actual, this being the Nihilanth from Half-Life, the final boss of that game, so to speak. And again, this is a meme that has taken over this Reddit and of course the alien Reddit communities as well too. Where even, even, this, even this Marvel meme is a perfect application of it. Everywhere I go, I see that goddamn image every single place. So we're sitting at a situation where there appears to be this weird mushroom alien pilot looking body. Some people even tried to find the artist. The artist even claims that they didn't make this product, which looks, again, really similar to the alien we saw. But again, ladies and gentlemen, what is the truth in the situation? Did Reddit find an alien body? I don't think so, okay? Look, in this entire situation, I have learned a lot of things, okay? There are so many different subreddit communities I had no idea about. There are actually communities for pop surreal taxidermy, okay? People literally making taxidermy of Narnia animals, all right? I have also learned about plants like mandrake, okay? Which is the root of a plant historically from the plants of the genus Mandragora. I thought this would literally be some Castlevania-ass shit, but that is actually a mandrake root resembling a human form, currently at the Science Museum in London. And of course, I read about this plant, okay? All species of mandragora contain highly biologically active alkaloids, tropane alkaloids in particular which I would imagine puts this in like a schedule like drug in the United States. The root is hallucinogenic and narcotic. In sufficient quantities, it induces a state of unconsciousness and was used as an anesthetic for surgery in ancient times. It was used to treat melancholy, convulsions, and mania. And when taken, in, when it, when taken internally in large doses, is said to excite delirium and madness. Yeah, uh, don't, don't do mandrake root. In fact, I don't even think it's probably legal to get mandrake root. Let me actually Google that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to understand, this was the Reddit alien body that was floating around. And is it fake? Is it real? I'm probably inclined to believe what we've seen is fake stuff anyways. And you can tell it's really fake when even the moderators for these alien communities are immediately shutting it down. What this did was spark up a lot of conspiracy theories. And I don't think the alien community really needs more of that than it exists. Look, or do aliens exist? I believe so. I believe intelligent life exists all over the universe. But this is the kind of stuff that makes the entire community look like a bunch of crackpot nut jobs, okay? So no, this body wasn't real. And again, the accounts that were initially posting it seemed to all be removed within a matter of 24 to 48 hours. I mean, in some cases, the moderators didn't even jump in, okay? The, the actual accounts just went missing and deleted it. So I leave the question to you. Did we come across actual alien bodies? Or is this probably a hoax? Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.